Hello and welcome to an Apple Script episode of Apple a Day. Today I'm covering the display notification command for Apple Script. Notifications are those small alert dialogues that appear on the top right of your Mac, like when you get an email, for example. Okay, so let's try it out. I've got a blank window open in the script editor. I'll type in the command display notification and then enter in the text of the notification. So in double quotes, I'm going to type check out our display dialog tutorial. If I run this, the notification is displayed. The title defaults to the name of the application which is posting the notification, which is, of course, script editor. But we can change that by adding the parameter with title. I'll type in with title and in quotes, I'll enter Apple a day. I'll run this and now our notification has a title as well as the notification itself. Now you can also add a subtitle if needed. I'll type in the word subtitle at the end of the line and then type in new Apple script tutorial released in quotes. I'll run that now and we have three lines of text, the title, the subtitle and the notification text. You can also add a sound effect by adding the sound name parameter. I'll do that now by typing in sound name at the end of the line. And then of course the name of the sound in quotes, I'll type in frog in double quotes. When I run this, it plays the frog sound. If you want to play the default notification sound, just leave the sound name blank. I'll leave the quotes, but delete the word frog and run it again. And now it uses the default notification sound. By the way, if the sound name you enter does not exist, the default sound will play instead. Now I discovered that the alert sounds in system settings are not the sounds that are available for the display notification command, at least in Mac OS Sonoma, which is what I'm using right now. If I go into system settings, the alert sound list is not the list that's available. I'll just go into system settings right now and it's this alert sound list that I'm talking about. This is what's not available to the display notification command. Instead, you can find the available sounds in the system folder. I'll show you where they are. In the finder, I have a window already open to the root of my drive. I'll open up the system folder and then go into library and then in there, there's a folder called sounds. And if I go into sounds, this is the list of sounds that are available. Let's try a few to make sure they work. I'll type in glass and run it. And that works great. Now let's try so sue me. And that plays too. Okay, so now we know how to display a notification, but how do we make use of it? For an Apple script notification to be useful, it needs to appear when something occurs within your script application which is usually running in the background while you're working on something else. A good example of this would be watching a folder for changes, perhaps. If a new file gets added to a folder, then your application can display a notification indicating as much. This is done through something called folder actions in AppleScript. I'm going to show you how to make this happen, but bear in mind, this tutorial is more about the display notification command and not about watching a folder. So I'm going to be going over this very, very quickly. But having said that, I will be doing an in-depth tutorial on folder actions in the future. Okay, so I'm going to clear this script and start over. So to watch a folder, you have to add the code for an Apple script event called adding folder items. And this is how you do it. I'm going to type in on adding folder items to this underscore folder after receiving added underscore files. Then you have to have a closing statement so Apple script knows when this event is done running. On a new line, type in end adding folder items to. So now the code to actually do anything just needs to live between these two lines. All we want to do is display the notification. So I'll type in display notification and in quotes files added with an exclamation mark. And we also want a title, so I'll type in with title and in quotes, folder changed. For this example, I don't need to have a subtitle, but I do want to play a sound. So I'll add the parameter sound name and type in ping in quotes. And that's all I need to do for this script. I'll just compile it first to make sure it's okay. So now we need to save it in a location that is accessible by the folder action feature. This can be found in the library folder off of the root of the hard drive. And within there is a scripts folder. So I'm going to open that. And then within the scripts folder, 
There's another folder called Folder Action Scripts, and this is where we want to save this script. Now, this folder is protected on my machine, so I have to save it to the desktop first and then copy it into the Scripts folder, which will then prompt me for my password. So I'll save this right now to the desktop, and I'm going to call it Notify Me. And then when it's done saving, I'm going to drag it into the Folder Action Scripts folder, and then authorize the move. Then the next step is to assign this script to a folder as a folder action. So I've already got a blank folder ready. It's called Folder to Watch, and it's on my desktop. So I'm going to right-click on that, and then in the Services menu, I'll select Folder Actions Setup. If you see this dialog to confirm service, select Run Service. This dialog comes up for me every single time I apply a Folder action script. So with the folder selected on the left, click on the plus button on the right to add the script to the folder. So I'll click on plus, and then select the Notify Me script, which is the one I just made. And that's it. Close the window for the folder action setup, and then just to test that it works, I'm going to copy a file into this folder on my desktop. I've already got this Sounds folder open, so I'm just going to copy one of these files into the Folder to Watch folder on my desktop. I'm going to make sure I hold the Option key down while I do that so I don't accidentally move the file. I'll drag that in. When I let go, it copies it. And there's my notification, complete with the alert sound. Now this particular event, checking if a file has been added to a folder, this can become useful if you're watching a folder on a mounted volume shared with other users. You could get notified when a user on another workstation has added files. If I hover over the notification with my mouse, the Show Me button appears. And if I click on that button, the folder containing the watched folder will be opened on the desktop. Okay, so that's pretty much it for display notification in AppleScript. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. My name's John Martins. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day.